Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. Come on in. Let's see if I can help a few people. We have got a guest stamper tonight. Let's see. Anybody in yet? Mm, that's a four. Woohoo! That's good. You can start saying hello. Hello, everyone. Okay. Karen Jones, hello. Janet Rose, hello. Hi, Janet. I was trying to think of. Kristen Lafreda Wenzel, hello. Hi, Kristen. A lot of pearls. Well, that's a good thing. Sherry Braylon. Hi, Sherry. So, let me make sure. How is the... Uh... Okay, I can see Jean. I can see Joy. Hi, Joy. Uh, Janet says, hi, Pammy and Bill. Hi, Angie. Okay. Hi, Karen. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Kathy. I hope everybody is having a... Oh, sent it out to be viewed. How cute is that? <laughs> Angie says sent it out to be viewed and not the other S word. Oh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Angie. Appreciate it. We call spreading the word. Spreading the word. <laughs> Sharing the love. Telling the world. <laughs> so, hi, Sherry from Texas. Thanks for joining Hi, Beth Ann. There you go. There's your Beth Ann. Beth Ann from Philly. <laughs> um, oh, Wait now on. Jean says posted for others to enjoy. How cute is that? Joy's on. I know. I said hi to Joy. Uh -huh. Good Joy because I'm not going to be doing most of it. We've got Hulk who is going to be doing uh, some stamping tonight. So if he's, if it screws up, it's, it's your fault. You didn't train him right. <laughs> okay, so um, it is sunny and extremely windy here in Iowa today. Well, compared to yesterday when it was windy and extremely cold. So <sighs> Bill and I, um, <clears throat> we have a little dog between the two of us. And um, we were smelling something a little bit ago and we didn't know what it was kind of looking around and then we noticed that she was chewing on a on what is that thing like a a bully stick or something yeah like a chew stick or something yeah whoo stunk to high heaven but i'm i'm glad to know that it wasn't bill <laughs> <laughs> did you know i was scared for a moment that oh could be there you? <laughs> it wasn't me either wasn't okay me. so all right well let's get going so um we have about two weeks left of this catalog. So Only two. Two. So there's still some things in this retire that are retiring that if you want, you still have time to get them. Especially the sets. I do want to make known that um, things that may be carrying over from one catalog to another, when they when they first come out, I gotta find something. When they first come out and um, have like framelits to them or dikes to them like this set so it comes with a 10 percent off if you buy them together this is this is one of the sets that we'll be carrying over and it'll have to be purchased separately so those are t things to consider if you want to save that extra 10 percent so there's there's about two weeks it's tuesday the fourth when it goes live hi marcia um karen says she got her new catalog today yes karen good speaking of catalogs um, for those, I haven't really, if you need a catalog, if you don't have a demonstrator and you need a catalog, I'm no longer sending out this catalog because it's about to retire, but I have the brand new one. And for those of you who, um, live out of state, um, 
I've already sent catalogs out via the company, so if you're a customer of mine, you probably already have it. Is is Laura on here yet? Because I was going to... Yeah. I think she was going to be late. I haven't seen her yet. Okay. Because she's one that I want to ask if she's got it or not yet. Because they go out by bulk mailer. Oh. So I wanted to see. But um, for those of you who are in-state like Marsha, um, don't worry, Marsha. You've got one coming. It'll be there. So actually, this is my mom's handwriting. We sat and did some <clears throat> tags. I can't open this one until it goes live. That is just one of the things that you don't post anything from the inside of the catalog. I can show you the outside, but I can't show you the inside. But I will just say Hi, that... Madison. Hi, Madison. I have... Um, if you're not on my mailing list, I think it's called Piccadilly News or Piccadilly Mail, I think, on my Facebook wall. So when you back out of here when we're done with the show tonight you can go on there and sign up for my mailing list and I will have like photos I'm gonna uh, have photos of cards maybe some tutorials from now and then but it'll have company announcements and stuff like that too you can sign up for that okay so any questions or anything so far nope not yet okay I bunch of you brothers <laughs> okay I feel like I'm going to sneeze, so I'm trying to not sneeze. Hi, Kelly. I see Kelly showed up. Hmm. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Now, I have something that I do on the third or fourth week of the month, and I just I wanted to take a, a moment and kind of brag about my Piccadilly Pearls. So I have a unique set of ladies, and um, I got this card actually last week because it's cute. So I put out a card challenge um, that my girls could send me a card in order to win a stamp set. And I got some really cute cards. I mean, seriously, talented ladies. So we went through this one. This one was from Nancy. So we'll put that one in there. I put the, the, the names in here so that I could remember whose was whose. This one, okay, I'm really excited about this because um, we have another daisy set that's coming. Isn't this pretty? And this is one of the new embellishments. One of my gals got crazy there and skipped ahead, but um, it's pretty. It was on her pre-order, so. Um, she actually did the happy birthday, cutting it out on the um, DSP, which I thought was kind of pretty. So isn't that pretty? This one is from Kristen Tatum. <clears throat> Here's my other Kristen. Um, this is Kristen Wenzel. Look at this. How gorgeous is that? So this is embossed, and then it's stamped, and then it's embossed. And then look at this on the envelope. She did, can, can will this show up? Right here. I don't know if that shows up or not. The embossing? Yeah, the embossing on the envelope. Isn't that gorgeous? So beautiful, beautiful. This one is from Karen. And she used the beautiful butterfly um, paper and the punch. And I can't remember the name of this, this punch, but I like how she offset it and offset with the black. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Okay. Now this one surprised me. So this one is from Angie. I don't know how, if you can see these or not, um, Bill, if they're coming yeah, in. They're coming through. Okay. This one's from Angie. And it says, I couldn't have picked a better friend than you. I have had some troubles with the new in colors this year. And one of them is Rococo Rose. Um, I just, I've tried to do it myself on a couple of things and it just hasn't quite come into play. She took this and this is one of the see like we can't open the catalog but you can see what it does um one of the sets and i can't think of the name of it because i don't own it yet anyway but isn't this cute how she did that she cut the paper um at an angle i'm so gonna have to steal this but i love how she used that as the background and then of course wink stella i love wink stella 
And then this one is from um, Danielle, and I think she is, is she the youngest stamper? I think she's even younger than my daughter, to be quite honest. So um, this is another one where when I first saw the, the stamp set. Sometimes you have to play around with um, stamp sets to know what you like. But what was really cool about this is, since I can't open the book, she got the idea right off of the cover. And I'm always talking about um, casing cards and stamping up putting a lot of work in fact I think that's what my last week's was isn't that awesome that is so awesome so congrats to her so I thought these were great cards I like to share them with you guys so that you can um, see what we're creating out there Okay, so I've got all their names now in here, folded up, and put into this little handmade. This was some of my favorite DSP, and I didn't want to get rid of it. At, I think it was from a couple years ago. Okay, Bill, are you going to draw Oh, this? yeah. I, I'm the official drawer. <laughs> okay, you draw. Angie! Angie! You lucky dog. Okay, Angie, you have won a stamp set. It is Life is Grand. This is a rubber stamp set, but what I love about this is it's got that distinctive, um, or what do they call that? I think it's called distinctive. Um, it's kind of exclusive to Stampin' Up. It's kind of photorealistic, I think is what they say. So Angie, you won this month's contest. What'd you say? I don't know. Am I making up words? Ask Joy. <laughs> Joy can tell you if I'm making up words. <laughs> Is photorealistic a word? So Angie, I have this for you. And that means we'll have to get together uh, here soon. Okay. And just so the pearls know, I've already figured out our contest for next month. And I'll probably be posting it early this month so that it gives you more time to get them done all right let's go on to some announcements we don't have too much but um piccadilly perks so what is piccadilly perks it is a rewards program just through me for being you know my loyal customer and we have had someone already reach the halfway mark on that bill yeah yeah marcia b um, she is at the PICCA. So what are Piccadilly Perks? It's a rewards program where you can earn free product for being a loyal customer to Piccadilly Stamping. How does it work? Um, for every $35 that you purchase, you earn a letter from the word Piccadilly. Letter. I don't know why I'm doing this, but anyway. <laughs> So um, she has halfway there. It's 10 letters long. So she's at P-I-C-C-A. And Marsha, check your email so you can see. I sent you um, an email confirmation on that. Once you collect all the letters, then you earn a free shopping uh, spree on me. Now, it's not unlimited. So you can choose up to $25, not $25.50, up to $25 worth of free product. But I'm going to pay the tax and the shipping for you. So it's about a $35 value. So it's kind of buy, buy 10, get one free type of thing. This is something that I've been trying just... Um, for my customers just this year and the offer goes until January 31st 2020 um, so it gives you time to like build up these points and Marsha has been ordering pretty regular now every month so thank you Marsha and Yay. you're halfway there <laughs> okay um, host code for um, orders to uh, R2Y7ZZGY and what else do we have? Do you need a catalog? Let me know. Send me a message. I am still getting them slowly but surely out to folks. So let me know if you need one of the new catalogs. We cannot... You're not here yet. Oh. You're not... <laughs> he's over here trying to get into the scene. 
Um, we are, let's see. Um, we're going to do some drawings too tonight for cards and Bill, I'm just going to go ahead and get going since you're like so crazy to get over here and stamp. Okay. Let's go. So, but let me get started. Okay. You okay. can come over. So I want to talk a little bit about paper pumpkin and this month's paper pumpkin was awesome. Okay. So last month's paper pumpkin was this distinctive, uh, stamp set and the sucker was awesome, and I mean awesome. I did a lot of cute cards, I'm um, like this one, and I made a bunch of these just off of this stamp set, and I can keep the stamp set, use it forever and ever. This month's was um, called Hugs from Shelly. Shelly Gardner is the, um, well, she actually um, co-founded, co yeah, the company, and with her sister, and she was the CEO, now her daughter has taken over. But so this has kind of um, a Shelly feel to it. And when we were at on stage, we got a little sample here as to what was coming in it. And just to show you, I will show you what's in this after I let Bill, because I think he's just gonna explode. He's waiting to get in here. Come on, let's All right. trade me places. Well, you betcha. Okay. Ooh, look at this. I haven't sat at the desk since you got all your new stuff. Ooh, I like that organism. You organize. like that? That's oh, yeah. the storage by Stampin' Up. Oh, so, yeah. do you feel okay? Now, you want to scooch up there where you can get in under the camera? Oh, I suppose. What did you do with your phone so that I can at least see? It's over there. Okay. Hi. Um, so, say hello to everybody. Hello. Don't be scared. Ooh, hi, Sandra. Uh -huh. Um kind of a cool little set here why don't you open that up okay? okay so the first card I have done actually all of these there are scissors right there I'm gonna have to the other ones the other ones. <laughs> that's right don't use the black handled scissors well just a little snippet there you go okay so Mr. Hulk here. Can't even open the, the plastic. Gee, <laughs> Christmas. Maybe I should have had that part done for you. So, I, the reason why he's volunteered to do this, and I kind of saved this. Okay, careful so you don't hit the phone. Yeah. <sighs> there you go. Hand me this. So, this is what the card's supposed to look like, okay? Here is the base. So what do you do right away on bases? You know. For the base, you take it, you fold it, take your bone folder, and you crease it. There you go. Good job. Okay, now what is the picture? What is the picture show you Ooh, there? Picture's a nest with eggs and. This picture. What does this show you? Oh, this one. Yeah, I'm trying to get you oh. to show how to make the card. Oh, so then it takes. It looks like you've got your labels and your. Um, we'll open it up. All the decorative stuff. Yep. And Show this, how this has a matching. Oh, it has a matching envelope already yeah. made for you. So. Kathy says, hey, Bill. <laughs> okay. Jamie Snook says, hi, Bill. Hello, Jamie. Sherry Turner says, hi. Hi, Sherry. Well, you got a couple sets of this here? Let's, well, now look let's at the see. picture. I'm okay. looking at it. I'm looking <laughs> at it. Okay, so... so now I'm going to have to stamp here. That's right. So do you want to start there? Yep. Okay. So you're going to need the early espresso. So just pull that color out of... There you go. Now, when Are we... Are these the new ones? Yes. So, here you go. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of you. Okay, so take the one that says hugs. Make sure it's right. Now, you know what I like to do, Bill? Oh, there we go. Let's get Let's you. Let's get some scrap paper. And you want to try to gently tap that into the ink and gently tap that onto the paper. Oh. That really was not even. a gentle tap. <laughs> that was not a gentle tap at all. Um, okay, so Time to get the cleaners the cleaner. right here. And let's also get, because it's a photopolymer, let's put this underneath. Let's put the spongy thing underneath there, yeah. yeah. Gently hulk, gently. <laughs> I didn't even hulk it, I just dumped. Okay, there you 
there you go. You don't even have to take it out of there. This is, here, let's do this on camera so they can see. Okay, there you go. So, oh boy, you got that up everywhere, don't you? What I like about these is they're thick, so you can kind of push a little bit. Okay, now, you've done the pushing. Let's try it again. A light, light touch, stamp it in, make sure you get the ink on. It's just a, okay, there you go. Now stamp. There you go. Now do the same thing, kind of in the middle, like that yep. picture, okay? Janet Rose says, don't press tap. There. <gasps> Beautiful. Okay, just set it aside. Now grab the other one. Now that's a smaller one. Mm -hmm. So Let's see, it says for you. So it's hugs for you. And you see how they have the G in between? Mm -hmm. So I want you to try it on your sample one first. Very light. There you go. You picked up the color. You kind of got some in the center, which will be hard to see, but go. It's perfect. <gasps> Love it. Round of applause. Yay. Yay. Snaps, snaps, snaps. Okay. So now, now I gotta do, do it, it on, again. On yeah. this one. And get that where you, you can. Um, and I'm trying to determine. It looks to me. Is that too much? Well, you can always, we're going to move you up a little bit so you see what I have to go through. Just small stamp, small pressure, but make sure it all touches. You can do it. Oh my gosh. Yay! If Hulk can stamp, anybody can stamp. That's right. Okay, so let's move from there to... Put that off to the side. Well, Are we done put, with this? Yep. Why don't you put that up without sticking your finger in it? Do you know how to do it? Oh, well. Nope. Kinda. Do you want your off camera so no one can see what you're doing? Well, that's good because I'm struggling to get that <laughs> thing turned around. Okay. Why don't you show them that? Look at that. Don't do that. <laughs> that's not right. Okay. So wipe that off after you get it on everything else on your way to <laughs> touching it. On the clean side even, huh? Okay. <laughs> well, it's not coming off. I know, honey. It, 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 you'll have to, when you take your shower tonight, it'll come off. Oh, I won't okay. mess up my card. Well, tap it out there and see if it's... No, okay. Okay. So you need to burnish that edge down a little bit. It's kind of More? flapping up. Well, do you not... You gotta crease it on the side so it's not... Okay, now let go and see. There you go. All right. Okay. Let's see if anyone says anything. Joy said, good job, Bill. Kelly Erickson gave applause. Well done, Hulk. <laughs> That's cute. All right, now, can you build this? Can you look at this and see what needs to happen next? Because you want to well, go from I the back. To... Go from the back to the front. So I'll need to do this. Well, then how will you get the... Oh, that's right, the string. Yes. So how do you want to attach that? Probably put a uh, some some of that tape. You want to do some tape runner? Yeah, you just put it and then. So look at where it is. I just do like a line. Like over here, so. You don't want to go all the way across the card. No, like right here. Mm hmm. Go over more towards your left. You're going to make your it... left over here? Your other left. Okay. <laughs> now do a line going that way. Kind How of, far? Well, just a, where you know that the, the tag is going to cover. Oh. I don't know that that's going to stick for you. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> not so hard. It doesn't need that much pressure. Oh. I'll get it going again. Here we go. There you go. Okay. Okay, now wrap it around in a little... Get your hands in camera. Hi, friends! I got Hulk stamping! <laughs> the last I knew, France was in Canada, so... <laughs> 
What's going on, eh? You can do it. Just stick it down. Kind of where you think it looks purdy. <laughs> Just okay. like that. Okay. And then you go. So now it can it comes with these. It comes with stickums, all right. Yeah. So you wanna put the stickums. Okay, do you know how to do that? There you go. Well. Well, no, that came off. Put it in the yeah. Let me empty that for you. I think we're going to have an extra drawing tonight for... Oh, well, there's an idea. What? So usually I put it on this thing. <laughs> Just get up in the camera a little bit more. <laughs> that's okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> I'm being creative. I put it over here. That's fine. It'll work. It'll work. Yeah, I even got it right. So look at that. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so take off the little stickum. You know, if someone doesn't have fingernails. <sighs> yeah, I don't either. Okay, so just kind of lay that in the spot. I think we might have to do an extra drawing for whoever gets Bill's card. <laughs> okay, now take those little stick them things again and stick them on the back of your... On the flowers? Yep, on the back of the flowers, but make sure that that's, yeah. So we do this. There you go. What do you put one on each one? Wow. Yeah, I put two on the one with two. Okay. It's so hard. I mean, you get used to it. So we only get big old sausage like fingers like mine. <laughs> mm, <Christmas. sighs> oh, you're cracking me up. You're cracking me up, seriously. Okay. You're doing it. And then just take those Fold off. them off. Yep. Maybe. Sometimes, oh, you don't even really have a nail at all, do you? Nope. <clears throat> wow. That's okay. You can gnaw it off. Gnaw it off. Now look at the picture and just put it what you think would look good. There you go. You're doing it. Okay, now do the last one. Mm -hmm. So, what I do they send an extra thing in case you in mess case up? In case you screw up, yep. Oh. That's nice. It is. So, when you're done, you got a present tag. <laughs> okay, so now put that one down. Boy, this really does seem. You're better in the wood shop, I would say. <laughs> Okay, now hold your cam, hold your card up to the camera. There we go. Woo! Look at that, ladies. I did it. <laughs> Woohoo! I think maybe you need to take that into Tim tomorrow. <laughs> no. Okay, well, Monica or one of the other girls, <laughs> maybe Ricky. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, are you done? I'm done. Okay, that's. But it was now. easy. It was very easy. easy. And you did actually a very nice job of stamping. Hmm. And then you can just write in there. Yes. Now these particular ones, um, let me give this back to you so you can see. You can see what everyone's saying. I'm going to give Bill his own little Yay. round of applause. Ah, honey, that's so cute. Okay, maybe you should send it to your mom. It comes with these beautiful envelopes. Now, these are note card size, so they're not the regular A2 size that um, we're used to. But you can see how you look at what they did and you build up from it. So I want to show you my paper pumpkin. Real quick, I did the whole thing. It comes with a stamp set that I get to keep, and we're going to be doing some alternatives to this um, paper pumpkin. But here's mine, and it comes with these pretty envelopes, and they're lined even, which I thought was really pretty. Here's another set. There's three of each. Isn't that pretty? Let's see what the lining is. It's some stripes. That's very pretty. And this had these little bird um, embellishments. This one I loved. I'm going to be doing some slide it up just a little, little bit, bit more. Lid. Okay. Um, 
Do I need to show them again or just keep going? Okay, this one was the one with the little bird embellishments. Then there's this one, and I really like, this is that new um, pretty peacock color that's going to be an in color, kind of trying to get you used to some of the in colors that are coming in this year. It came with this um, pretty little thread. Let's see what the envelope is for this one. Isn't that gorgeous? With a striped lining. And then the last one, birds, it has this beautiful vellum feather. And let's see what that envelope is like. So it's got the cute little matching feather to it and then some greenery. So I just wanted to show you. Now, I made the whole kit the way that it was. There was leftovers in this kit, and I'm going to be making alternative cards. Ooh, that is loud. You're right next to me. <laughs> I meant for the camera. Yeah, but it's loud. I can hear it. I know. Loud. It is loud. Okay, so let me put this away since I've shown the kit. And we're going to start on some alternatives. And I think Paper Pumpkin is an important um, program for Stampin' Up! for a couple of reasons. One, because for those who are just learning how to stamp and just trying to collect um, stamp supplies, it comes to your house every month. It has enough to do a few projects. And like this one had, I think, 12. Um, I saw the one from from next month that's coming. And I think it was something in kindness. Um, I can't remember the name of it now. Let me look and see if it's on here. Spread the Kindness is what the name of it is, and it's got some cute kind of seashell-looking stuff on it. Um, I'll probably post uh, tomorrow or Friday um, the video that comes with it so you can kind of see, and that's available until the 10th of June. So, but let's go back to this month. Now, this one isn't orderable, but if you have it already, this is a great set um, one. To show you, I wanted to show you alternatives to this um, on how you could make your set go a little bit farther. So the first card is easy. I like to always start out easy and then build up. So I have got a card base of um, Pool Party, five and a half by four and a quarter, or score at four and a quarter, five and a half by eight. Doing that right? What? I don't know. Yeah. Am I? I don't know. It's five and a half by four and a quarter. <laughs> it's so weird how I get so off track with doing anything out of my. Okay, I will. So we're going to start with a focal point. I need this stamp. Let's start with background stamping. So, um, I found out that there is a Pearl who loves background stamping as much as I do. And I was like, let's go with that. So they're in this little stamp set they have. They had some birds. They had thank you, grateful, dear friend, hugs for you, hello, love, um, a little flowery piece couple of birds and a feather but they also have this little splotch that kind of reminds me of gorgeous grunge when they had that so I thought yeah background stamp that so I'm just gonna start randomly stamping all over for my background Hey, Bill, hey, what? you did a good job. Thank you. <laughs> I have to tell you. No, they're all telling me too. Oh, well, look at that. Right. I'm going to go ahead and clean off your stamps while I'm here. Oh, that's right. I forgot to clean them. That's okay. That's okay. 
so now these are photopolymer. That's why I'm using the stamp and pierce mat. So let's push that aside. I have a piece of whisper white cut at two and a quarter by three and a half. And then I have a matting piece of two and a half by three and three quarter of basic gray that I'm going to put. So let's do some stamping here real quick. And I want that pool party that I've got out. Let's do Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay. What do you think of those colors? So let's do lightest to darkest and then I'll remember because I don't have my Bermuda Bay one out here yet. Okay, so there was this little um, feather image and I'm going to start with that in the pool party and I just want to test it out. Isn't that a pretty feather? So And then because I'm going from one color to the next and they they are in the same color family and they get darker, I don't have to clean it off in between, but when I come back, I will. So I'm going to take that feather, stamp it down, and I'm going to go to the next color, which is um, Coastal Cabana, and I'm going to turn the feather and stamp it down there. I'm going to turn it again. stamp. Now, because I'm going from dark to light, I'm going to go ahead and clean it off, go back into my light. <clears throat> That's pool party. I'm just going to stamp right off that page. And you know, think I'm gonna come right back here and just hit that okay so I've stamped the feather kind of across in these colors let me put these away really quick what's that it looks really nice thank you it's easy it gives that okay say the word what effect is this Ombre. <laughs> you know the ombre, ombre effect. That's just for sure. Okay. So now normally I like the 1 8 inch border, but for this one I chose the basic gray and I chose to do a, a quarter inch border. So we're just going to flip this over. Ombre. I like it when you say that. Ombre and put a small bead of glue down. And let's glue that in place. Okay, here's what's really cool when you are developing cards. And one of the things that I like to teach you guys is so you can develop it. Now that would be cute. This would be cute. That would be cute. Offsetting it would be cute. In fact, I like that. So we're going to offset that. I want to get a... So when you're playing around with something and you have this vision in your mind, stop. Take a minute. Put it... Change it around. See what you like. You know, maybe that's something you like. It... it which is, that is actually kind of cute. I like that off-center stuff, but I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to do down in this corner. I just really like that. So I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm going back to what I have, what I like. Fast Fuse Down. <clears throat> I don't sell it anymore, but I love it. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to take out some uh, silver thread. And the best way I like to wrap thread is I just wrap it around two or three times. And then I open up my pinky finger and wrap it around again. And then 
when I pull it out, it kind of, I don't know how well they can see that. It's kind of like in different um, shapes, sizes. So I'm going to put that little bit of thread down here. Sometimes to do a simple card, just that little bit offsetting it is really pretty. So let's pop this up. Let's see if there's there are enough of these left. Well, no wonder these were hard, Bill. This is just, these were hard to get open because it's just one little row. It's even hard for my fingers. So see, it's just like when I loosen those jars for you. That's right. <laughs> okay. These were the mini ones too. If I didn't, if I would have known that, I would have probably... Okay, so we're just going to pop this up. Now we need a sentiment. Let's see, does that look pretty even? Love it, love it. So I have chose the sentiment, Dear Friend. It's kind of long, that's why I chose it. So, um, I always hook it onto the end. I'm right-handed so I can see through better and my hand isn't covering the image. I always pick a little bit bigger block than the image. We do have some that are smaller, but then I can see for placement. So just my little tip. I'm going to go with the basic gray for this because the card has basic gray. And this is actually just a scrap from when I trimmed off some paper. So small stamp, small pressure. Tap, tap, tap. Let's see if I can... Okay, and perfect, and that was in basic gray. So my infamous, famous tailored tag punch, because I think I'm going to do a flag on the end, and let's see where that's at. I'll do that fairly close to it. I just try to center it the best I can. Now let's take a look at it. Let's put that going right across there. And I'm just gonna bring in my little mini trimmer. I'm going to pop this one up too. Any questions or anything, Bill? Nope. You just sucking in all the glory of your right. debut. <laughs> paper debut. So, does that mean you're going to start making them with me? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> you're supposed to say yes. Oh, I'm yeah, so okay. excited. <laughs> Come on, I help you out in the wood shop. Okay, so I'm on this kick about not having everything square lately, so I think I'm going to have this sticking off a little bit. All right, first card down. Let me see if I can get that up for the... So you can see the background stamping. You can see how I use the paper pumpkin feather. Even though there was no feather at all in the stamp set, um for the cards that they had you make and I made my own so I am a huge I love feathers like I love birds especially hawks and eagles and like I'm finding feathers all over the place so I squealed when this um um stamp set came out because there was a feather in there okay so that's one alternative to the paper pumpkin let's go on to the next one Let's do a quick little mini cleanup here. So now you tell me if there's any questions or anything while I'm cleaning up. 
So we did the ombre on that. Um, Danielle, is Danielle still on here? I don't see a lot of people. Oh, okay. Because Danielle's my little feather loving friend. She likes the birds. That's, um. Okay, so now I'm going to get out the next project box. This one's got, a, it's actually a very simple card. It just has a little bit more to it. Plus, I wanted to bring in a couple of new things um, that you're going to be seeing this year's catalog. So, I can't open the catalog and show you, but I can work with some of this stuff. So, this is another in color. It's called Seaside Spray. What is it? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's a blue but it's also purple blue. I don't, it's like a peri, light periwinkle blue or something. So I made a card base for this. Now, <clears throat> these are the regular A2, not the note cards, like what, what were in the paper pumpkin. Now, we have a set called Stitched All Around. I love, love, love this set. You will see me use this a lot of times, not necessarily for the stamp set, but because I'm in love and obsessed with these dies. These are awesome dies. They have um, kind of like a lacy look to them. You can have, like here's just one that's like a tag for sentiments. And you can use them for other things other than just... Um, the stamp set. So I wanted to show how mixing and matching is so versatile. So I've cut one out and I want you to take a look at it. It's got some stitching around it. It kind of looks like a doily, but it doesn't. It's like a label. I don't know. What do you think? Does it show up, Bill? On, on there? Well, I'm behind, remember. Oh, well, that's, that's okay. Just remind me. I get nervous when I'm on here. So I'm going to use that as kind of the backdrop. Now, one of the, um, an alternative, I don't know if this shows very well or not. There was this little flower and I fell in love with it and this hello that we didn't use on the cards that they gave us, but they gave us these extra stamps. So I was determined I wanted to use that. So let's do this. Let's go with a, I'm going to go back to that basic gray because this is, kind of a I'm going to use the hello right here I have a little I want to know if, if the yes they are joy and I'm excited about that because I'll just be using the heck out of them so I'm just going to stamp I should probably try first A stamp a oh I got this phone right up in my can't tell if I'm on it or not ah not bad so I'm gonna move that aside and then <clears throat> I'm going to use this new color called again seaside spray it's one of the new in colors that are coming out and I'm going to use that little flower and what I want to do is how do I want to layer this I think I'll just do another landscape card so let's take this flower and I'm going to Stamp it really quick so you can see it. It's kind of a sketched flower. And I, if I'm going to have my this in the middle, I think I'm going to have one coming off this direction, right about here. See how it's kind of peeking behind that? And then I'm going to turn this around. And I'm going to do the same thing coming off right about there. 
Okay, that little bit of background stamping, as little as it is, it's very delicate, um, but it really adds another layer. And we're going to be, I had a question come up about adding layers upon layers and how people do it, how they come up with the ideas. Again, I'm going to say, you know, this, maybe you want to, maybe you want to do it this way. Fiddle around with the stuff. Don't just look at something and think, well, that didn't work out. Play with it a little bit. Get to know it. So this is another thing that's going to be coming out. This is the Seaside, seaside Spray. Ooh, say that three times fast. It is a scalloped linen ribbon. Sorry for throwing that, you guys. But I was trying to just show you. It is so pretty. This stuff is so pretty. Um... I've actually used this. I've got it in every color and I've used it on a couple of projects. I did one today. Very, very cute. So I'm going to cut a smidge of this and I think I'll just do like that. And I can put that away because we're going to use this as a layer. So let's start. I like that this kind of um, isn't going to be glued all the way down, so I'm just going to glue in the center because I like that look of how it kind of comes up off the page. So let's glue this down. And all of this is made with paper pumpkin stamps. So I didn't purchase a kit. Oops, green glue moves. I didn't purchase a stamp set. I just purchased the kit. It comes every month. Okay, now I'm going to show you. You can use um, tear and tape, but for video right now, I'm going to use Fast View. So I, what I like about it, when ribbon is um, thick enough in width, you can just use a little tear and tape. Like I said, I'm going to use a little fast fuse to kind of put it, put it down. And let's just do a layer going like so. Maybe right, should we center that? So what again that I'm liking about this is that I've got it centered, but I've got something off centered. And I don't know why that's my kick these days, but it is. Now there was this leftover... This stuff is really pretty that came in the kit and it was left over. So I thought I'm going to use it. And let's just put some kind of right in the center here. What I like about it is it's unique. It's not like anything else. So I want to get a little fray going on at the end of the ribbon because I think that gives it kind of a unique look and I think I'm gonna now you just have to mess around with it until you come up with what you like everybody has different taste no right or wrong eh? no there isn't and everything is beautiful and artistic so what might be my style may not be somebody else's style But I'm, let's see what this looks like here. Um, let's try that. I can always change it if I don't like it, but I am going to fray this end. I like that. I don't know why I do, but I do. Okay, so let's come back to the hello, my very favorite tailored tag punch, and let's make a flag ending. Okay, so let's get some dimensionals, and I probably should get minis this time. So now I'm getting quite a few layers here, right? I've got one, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Maybe I want this to come down and this to come. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to use the mini dimensionals since I'm starting a brand new sheet. Now, I want them to go around where this um, 
twine is because it's getting kind of thick under there. I don't know enough that it's going to stick down, so let me see. Oh yeah, on each end. What you doing over there? Me? Just tying her up, huh? Yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to have that go up here. Now, you guys know how much I love sequins. I do. I love them. And I was thrilled with our sequins that, let me pull them out here that we have had that they carried over because I, these are the iridescent sequins. But when I saw that the new catalog and we got to pre-order, here's the difference. So let me put this out so maybe you guys can see. Here was our, our original ones and they're warmer tones and these are cooler tones. So I went, of course, nutty and had to have them. So these were the iridescent. These are the woven threads one that are sticking to me. So this is something new that's coming out. So let's take these and let's get my... I want to add just another layer of color. So I'm going to look for some of these um, pretty peacock ones because they are so pretty. There's one that's cut too. Come on. I'm going to do it in an odd number because they say that that is aesthetically pleasing. Did I say that right? Aesthetically pleasing. Don't I sound like I'm edumacated or something? <laughs> it's not true. Okay. Let's see. They have, What I like about this is they've got different sizes. Let's see what that looks like. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. I'm sorry. I tell myself it's pretty. So let's do a dot of glue there. A dot there. A dot there. Here a dot, there a dot. Everywhere a dot, dot. If Gwen's still on, she's probably, her ears are probably bleeding. She always tells me to not sing. Okay, so, now, this one has more of a contemporary feel to it. I guess, let me show you this. So, here's the finished product. So, I've got quite a few layers. If you consider the base layer, the stamping layer, so two, three, four, five, six, and then stamped again. So quite a few. There we go. All right. And so you can see from that paper pumpkin set, I have more of a, mm, this is kind of, um, could be either sex too. I mean, it doesn't have to be just a male or female. This one's a little bit floofier, don't you think? Well, it's a little flowery and yeah. lacy. More of a, more of a bird. Okay, let me get Bill's card back out. We got to get Bill's card on there because he works so hard. It's nerve-wracking in front of everybody. Okay, so those are a couple of alternative projects. And, of course, I'll be posting that probably tomorrow so you can see a, a better close-up picture of those. But it's a great idea. I'm kind of talking about how to do things offset, not always perfectly lined up, um, just for teaching purposes. If you like it, you can use it. If you don't like it, don't use it. But that was Paper Pumpkin for this month. Now, the next one, it looks like it's got a holder in it. 
um, like it looks like it's going to be note cards again from what I can tell and they just give you a hint it uh, the colors look like granny apple green and coastal cabana so mm. yeah yeah, so it's kind of summery. And then these sets are yours. They come with the spot shot, which I'm finding, I'm saving these um, because when I'm using the Stamparatus, this is really nice. Plus then you guys remember the technique that I taught you how to use them on your bubble wrap. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So before I go anywhere, any questions? Did you see Not anything? See any comments that I need to know about? Them. Okay. Awesome. All right. So, again, Piccadilly Parks. Thank you, Marsha, for your order again this week. That was awesome. Um, especially, I'm really trying to meet a goal here, and I really do appreciate that. So, cannot wait for you to shop with me for free. If these are, I had, I do have a button on my Facebook page that takes you to my store. It's open 24/7 a week, so um, you can shop there for any of these items if you have any questions let me know if you want a catalog let me know uh what else do we have anything else no just two more weeks in this catalog oh that's right two more weeks in this catalog and then we're going to be launching the new, new catalog so should we do some drawings oh yeah hey <laughs> so you guys I appreciate you spreading the word, <laughs> telling a friend about me. Um, we're for others' enjoyment. <laughs> there you go. We're getting creative about saying the the other yeah, word. word. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I took the names of who showed up. Now I only do my um, sh um, prizes in the U.S. So, but I appreciate anybody else who wants to um, be a part of it. Spread the word. <laughs> That's right. It's getting hard to say that. So let's do um, this week's drawing. So I got my little ticket. Are you going to? I'm drawing. Okay. Wait. Oh, Get in there deep. Who am I getting? Ooh. Barb Pick. Barb Pick. Awesome. Which one did she, did she draw mine? Did she? No, oh. I'm just going to do some handmade cards when I'm done. Let's do another one, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, reach in there. Now go deep. Ah, I'm going deep. Who's that? The whole can doesn't Laura fit. Laura Land. Laura Land. The whole can barely fits in there, you guys. Okay, one more. Digging around. Lori Monkey. Oh, Lori Deller Goodell. Okay, awesome. So you guys have won some handmade cards from me. And I think I actually have every address. So I don't need anybody to get me an address. So you guys, thank you so much for tonight um, joining me and being a part of this. I do want to let you know as kind of a preview, Bill will be back stamping next week. He has a project okay. next week using some more of the new in color. So <laughs> I just did it. I just put you out there. That's right. All right. Have a good night, everyone. And I will talk to you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.